Hello YouTubers, this is a Korean vlogger here. If you're wondering what my dorm looks like or a dorm in general looks like, um, we're gonna go on a tour of my dorm right now and yeah, let's go. So the first thing you'll notice about my dorm is that it's got a little card key and uh, of course there's a little bell that you can ring and yeah, your student ID is a card key. Place it here, a little beep and it opens. Once you come inside, there's a little area for you to take off your shoes and uh, take off your shoes. There is a little shoe rack here, uh, loads of storage space, more space. There's three spaces here and of course more here. Um, yeah, my dorm is sort of big so we're going to do a really quick tour. Uh, yeah, as you see, like I've got a living room. Uh, light switches and stuff. It was furnished when we came in. Um, we didn't have to buy any furniture. Uh, yeah, like all the couches were here. There's wall outlets. Um, of course, the normal standard Korean ones. And uh, TV output, but no one's getting a TV, so I don't really know why they have that. Uh, fire extinguisher, vacuum cleaner. I think that's the school's. Someone might have brought it, I'm not really sure. Um, the window upstairs, window down here. I'll show you the view in a bit. Um, the reason why we have this is that there are people living upstairs as well. So I live on the fifth floor, uh, that's the fifth floor, and that's the sixth floor. So the people on the sixth floor can't access the door on ours with their car keys. It's programmed to open only on the sixth floor. And so they can only come in through the sixth floor. Uh, likewise, we can't go through the their door um yeah so here's a little sink i don't really know why we have a sink because we don't really have a kitchen i guess it's like nice to eat dinner and then wash the plates here so yeah i'll show you upstairs in a little bit so the reason why we have such a big room is because i live with two ras one ra lives in a single room up here and another ra lives on upstairs in the identical room so yeah, in the hallway we've got three like little closet cubby areas. Um, my roommate's not one of my roommates is not using his. I am obviously using mine. Like all this junk here is mine. Um, that's my other roommates. Yeah, uh, we have on this floor two toilets. So one here and another here. And upstairs they have a shower here and a shower there, but a toilet here. So. In total, we have three toilets and three showers, which is pretty nice uh, when you wake up in the morning, like the morning routine is much faster. Um, that, <coughs> like the bathrooms don't really come with anything except this little cup, um, which is contoured. I think it's used for storing your toothbrush. No one's really using it to wash your mouth. And this little soap bar holder thing, it's nice. There's a big mirror here, there's me. Hi, um, medicine cabinet deal, uh, towel rack, um, didn't come with toilet paper, you need to buy your own toilet paper. And there's a little shower cubby area where you can store your towels and stuff. And, <coughs> yeah, sorry, I have a cold. Um, here's our actual shower. So the water pressure is nice and it's got a little, it's not a fixed head, so it's not a fixed head, so you can actually uh, move it around, and I like that because you know I can wash my body better. And there's a little um, shower cubby holder, and there's also a medicine cabinet here. Um, I think those are all my roommates. A little shampoo bottle and uh, the rest of my stuff in here. Only thing though is um, th like the floor is tile, the door is not. It's not. It's like I guess coated wood or something, but. It's not waterproof entirely, so I'm wondering if it's going to start warping. It's not going to be too pleasant. So yeah, that aside, um, let's move into my actual living area. Living, not, yeah, living area. So yeah, this is my bed. Uh, actually, let's get to this card key first. Um, when you come into a normal room, um, you're supposed to have your card in here to turn on the electricity for the room, otherwise nothing works. Uh, it's their way of conserving electricity, but because my room's a suite, I'm not sure if there's a card in here at all times or if the wiring's different. We have constant electricity, um, and yeah, so this is my bed. There's little three 
cubby areas under mine and more shelves for my roommates and so that's my side uh, the other side has a bunk bed uh, one on the second floor one on the first floor and some storage space so the storage space is not actually impressed with it it's like the width is about the size of a high school locker it's deeper than a high school size locker like it's from there to there so you can fit more stuff in but when you're hanging jackets it's not I don't know if you can see but that's like five jackets that I have in there and the rest are folded down here but that's not a lot of space I, I thought I could fit more so I brought more coat hangers they're just empty um, you have this little rack thing uh, to hang your ties and belts I guess a little mirror that nobody uses because it's in an awkward place like there's not much space between me and the mirror um, and uh, space down here for I guess like your shoes that you don't use but I have a shoe shelf so I don't really know what I put in there uh, some books and stuff that you can fit up here and there's more space between the ceiling and the locker so you can put like a carrier up there I guess if you wanted to um, yeah so here's my desk I apologize for the mess um, it's a little messy I know but yeah uh, the desk has a little electrical outlet thing turn the power to get power into these two outlets the USB should be a charging thing like you just plug in your iPod's USB thing but it doesn't work for anybody so I don't really know why it's there the LAN port works but I have a LAN port feeding I have a LAN, ca LAN cable a little, little LAN cable feeding from underneath the desk because I got a 10 meter one instead of a 1 meter one because I read the thing wrong so we've got four little cubbies here and something upstairs and if you come down here there's two outlets I got an extension cord, um, something fell, I got an extension cord, and there's a LAN outlet right there. And yeah, it connects all nicely, that's my wireless router. Um, and this little thing allows you to have a desktop, like several people brought desktops and I'm sort of jealous because I didn't know it would be so nicely divided. And obviously it feeds through there. There's also a lamp here and yeah it's pretty bright so you don't have to bring a desk lamp and it's standard in all rooms so you know it's pretty nice too and i thought the desk was going to be cramped but it's nice and spacious like not too big not too small and yeah so my view is very nice um i've i get a little view of the temporary library and my academic buildings here and there that's libertus hall b libertus hall a and that's where i have some of my classes there's more buildings behind them about like four more i think this plot of land you see here is going to be developed by nsa those apartments were in there two years ago and that space too this area leads to parking lot that area leads to parking lot too um, so the temporary library is really small I have to be honest but it's a temporary library and the new one is finished it's going to be opened in April they're just getting some furniture uh, furniture in there um, and uh, getting some books in there as well I guess so yeah that's that and um, I'll quickly show you upstairs I guess <laughs> Dandy and nice. Really like it. Um, uh, their lights aren't on. Um, yeah, same thing. None of these guys are using their bookshelves. But yeah, uh, I guess the only difference is they don't have a shelf, like a full blown shelf, but they have a little like table thing. So as I mentioned, a shower here and another shower here. So some of these guys come down to uh, take a shower at downstairs or take a um, some of these guys come down to use a toilet downstairs and this room is identical i'm not going to go in there because you know roommates privacy and again uh, rc lives here single room again i'm not going to go in there because obviously uh yeah like if you really 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 want me to i can ask maurice if we can see the room but uh, probably not um yeah so that's about it, I guess. And, uh, am I out of focus? Yeah. 
So I hope you enjoyed the tour. I'm going to do a tour of the regular dorms as well. So yeah, um, it's hopefully going to be nice. And the primary reason why Yonsei decided to renovate these rooms to fit three people instead of the normal two day original plan is that they're behind the construction of the dorms across the campus, somewhere that way. Um, so as soon as that's finished, those dorms are going to be probably two person per rooms and uh, this is going to be cheaper accommodation. I think you pay around um, 800,000 won, like around $800 per semester. That's about three, four months living here. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to be doing a tour of the uh, dorm facilities as well, like what you have, like the laundromat and stuff. And yeah, I'll, I'll be seeing you guys next time.